Hello guys, how is everybody doing? Hey, how are you guys? Hello. Can you guys hear me? Hello, good evening. Hi, good to hear you. How are you, how's your day, how's work? Busy. Busy, really, what do you do? What, what do you do for a living? I'm BI coordinator. You are a BI coordinator. What is what? What does BI stand for? I don't know. I don't. Not it's really a sure. A lot of things. Oh, it stands for a lot of things. What things? <laughs> <laughs> like mm, I don't know. Uh, I know that I use the data, making reports, making the dashboards, or making decisions, the right decisions, and, and more things. <laughs> okay, that, that sounds like a pretty busy agenda, huh? Yeah. Busy. Okay. I really need the weekend to rest. <laughs> yeah, I've been pretty busy too. Um, it's a lot of work. Remember, guys. Uh, thank you. Thank you for you know that that's interesting, guys. Uh, remember to have the camera turned on, okay? Janet, how are you? Janet, Myrna, Miguel, Jocelyn. Uh, well, Jocelyn. <laughs> uh, Alejandro. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Janet. How was your day? Very busy too. You know, I hadn't had time to uh, to trim my beard. So I was like running today because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to do something. <laughs> so I think now that I see it on screen, I think that they did a good job. <laughs> okay. Right now, now you can see, you can see my teeth in that, right? Okay. With Miguel, how was your day, Miguel? How was work? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm good. Okay, my day was uh, a little busy, but everything okay. Everything okay? Yeah. Right, very good, guys. Very good. So we're gonna wait for the rest of the gang to come in, guys. Guys, uh, meanwhile, right? Let me um, let me give you a suggestion, okay? Um, as previously as previously mentioned, it is absolutely important to come to class, right? Now, the the reason why I'm saying that, guys, is because think about the positive side of it, okay? Like even if you are like too tired, guys, okay, first off, thank you for, for you know, still being here. Secondly, guys, the other thing is that education, you know, like learning a new language and having someone, guys, with native accent or, or like very advanced accent, you know, uh, and knowledge is very expensive, okay? I am currently learning French and I need to pay $150 per month, you know, 150, right? That's how much I pay. How much do you pay for this class? Nothing is free. All right, very good, right? So, so nothing is free, right? But, uh, but, but you, you do have, um, you know, um, you do have an advantage, right? Because you don't have to pay $150 like, like I do. The point I wanted to, what I wanted to point out here is that, uh, you know, whenever you, you think about, oh my God, I'm too tired, you know, I don't wanna go, think about that, right? Think about that, you know, that you're receiving um, 
something which can be really, really expensive, right? And, um, and also think about, you know, uh, the level, right, of, uh, or like the knowledge of that person teaching him, right? Um, anyways, guys, okay, what do you think? What, what do you think about that? You think, um, am I right or am I wrong? <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. All right, very good, right? Yes. All right, so, so I'm saying that, guys, because it's um, it's 804, right? Of course, uh, not it's not you guys, but, you know, um, you know, try, try to, try to, you know, be early. That's it. Okay. So guys, anyways, right. So enough about that. Uh, let's jump right straight into the, uh, the topic for today. So we were talking guys about past participles as, uh, past participles as, as adjectives, right. And we were talking about nouns as adjectives as well. Okay. So you were getting kind of confused, right. So today, guys, it's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of practice and I have a fun activity to, for you, okay? So yesterday, this is what we saw, right? The structure with past participles as, I mean, uh, to, to use them as adjectives, right? Now we have to take care, we, we have to talk about the structure of uh, nouns um, used, used as adjectives, okay? So that's, uh, that's the topic for today, all right? So let's, uh, let's do a quick recap. So according to this structure, what example can you give me? What example, uh, let's see, let me have, hello, Luis, welcome, Irena, Sonia, welcome, 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 right? Thank you, ladies, uh, thank you. Oh, you have the camera turned on now. Um, Mirna, Mirna, hello, Mirna, Mirna, all right. Uh, could you please give me an example, all right? Take a look at the structure, follow the structure, and give me an example. Uh, let's start off with a subject okay all right let's have a subject first my house all right my house very good my house okay so this is the subject right very good all right my house, my house. Is is very good. Um, that's possible. Let's help her, guys. Let's help her. If 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 you do not have an idea right now, it's okay, right? Everybody, you can. My help house her. is burned. Um, you mean burnt? Everybody, repeat. Mm, My house is no. burnt. Burnt. All right. Oh, okay. Well, what do you mean? I'm sorry. I thought that you went. You you meant burnt. Burn. Come on. That, that. Okay. All right. Very good. Very very good. If you say burn, first of all, it's not born. It's burn. Okay. If you say burn, guys, is this is this? Let me ask you something. Okay. This is a verb, right? Yes. Do we all agree, guys? Is this a verb? Burn. I'm gonna burn your house. Yes or no, guys? Yes, it is. All right, it is a verb, okay? So yes, right? It is a verb, thank you, right? So now, in what form is this verb? Is this verb in simple present, which is the infinitive form? Is this verb in simple past, or is this verb in uh, past participle? In this case, it's simple, simple form. Very good, okay, Janet, okay? This is not a past participle. What is the past participle of the verb burned? I mean burned. Burned. Burn. Wait, I... Ed. Ed. All right. What is it? Ed. With Ed. It's, it's it's this, guys. Okay, burnt. Okay, my house is burnt. Okay, this is how you say it, right? Because this, guys. Okay, this part right here is the past participle. If you do not use the past participle at the end, then it don't. You know, it doesn't make sense, right? This this, guys, means okay for you. If if it is easier for you to understand it this way, this is mi casa está quemada, all right? That quemada es un pasado participio, got it? All right, so my house is burnt. Very good, okay, applause for Janet. Thank you very much, Janet and Myrna, okay. thank you, all right? All right, let's have a different example, okay? Who would like to give me another subject? 
perhaps Alejandro Casillo. Hello, Alejandro. Hello, teacher. How All right. You? I'm excellent, man. How about you? <laughs> I'm fine, teacher. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. Alejandro, give me another subject, please. Um, I am um, written uh, the class. I am. Okay. I actually, I see the subject, so you're good. Okay. I and then I'm very good. I am and then? Written. I do not understand that. Uh, or written or? I am written. Mm -hmm. Like this? And then, uh, the class yesterday. No, 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 no. Past participle, all right? Now, okay. yes, guys, this is a past participle, but this doesn't make sense, right? Okay. This means the, yo, yo estoy written. escrito, right? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Are you guys okay? So, yes. so how do you say it then, all right? Think about it. I am what? I, I have, I have written. No, yeah, yeah, you can say I have written, which is a... Uh, Present perfect, but no, we're talking about using this as adjectives. What adjective, what verb can you use as an adjective for yourself here? I am tired. Very good. I am tired. Good job, Joseline. Woo. All right, tired. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, tired, guys. Just just this tired. Is, the, is this a verb? A tired hair? Yeah, you can use it as a verb, guys. Okay. All right. What about um, what about the verb? What, what about how do you call someone who can concentrate a lot, guys? A focused person, right? So you can say I am focused. Okay, got it. Which means estoy enfocado. Focus. Right? Focus on. Yes, I'm focused. Okay, I'm focused. All right. So I'm focused, guys, means, right, uh, it's a past participle of the verb focus, all right? Very good, guys. So with that in mind, guys, okay, now let's talk about the structure with nouns, okay? And the structure with nouns, guys, do me a favor, everybody, I'll give you one, well, I'll give you 30 seconds to write down the structure in your notebook, okay? All right, we got the subject. All right, what else do we have? Luis Molina. Hello, Luis. Hey, how are you, Tish? I'm great. Hey. How are you? <laughs> okay. Okay, there is, there are, plus noun. Well, first off, we can either, right, there we have two options here. The first uh, option we have is... Uh, okay, the, the structure with nouns. Yes. Oh, yes, subject yes. plus have plus noun. Beautiful, okay. That okay. is option number one with nouns. Option number two with nouns, what is it? Okay, okay. Uh, there is, there are, plus noun. This Very good. Is the, the second option. It's it's either there is or there are, right? For plurals, plus yeah. and noun. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the example. Um, Miguel Franco, help me read, Miguel. Okay. Uh, it says my dress has a stain on it. Very good. Okay. Now my dress has a stain on it. Is it is it example number one or number two according to the structure that we just saw here number one number okay. one very good okay what what is the what is the subject let's identify the subject guys uh on my dress as a standard well, what's the subject here the subject is my dress very good my my dress. Dress. great okay all right and what is the right what, what is have where, where is have in this sentence has 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 right because we're talking in third person very good all right and what is the noun here Stain on. Stain. 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 Very good. Stain. All right. Stain. Right. Now notice, guys, that we're using, we're using here an article, the article a, and the reason why, guys, is because this is a cannibal noun, right? If you studied cannibal nouns, you know that uh, most of the times, so almost you know every single time, you'll have to use uh, an article when you're referring to now cannibal nouns. Okay. Anyways, guys, good job. All right. Great. All right, so let's identify the second example here. Sonia. Hello, Sonia. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, and you? I'm um, great. Okay, glad to have you here. Sonia, uh, let's identify yes. number two, okay? Do we have there is in the second sentence? Yes, right? Yes. All right. Uh, can you identify the noun in the second sentence? Stain. 
Very good, okay. I stand. Very good, guys. Good job, okay. All right, guys. So remember this part, guys, because we're going to compare this right now, okay. For example, guys, okay. Uh, we're, okay, here, guys, okay. I'll show you an example of, hold on. Right, right here, guys. I'll show you an example. This equals this, guys. Okay, all right. For example, guys, where is the subject? All right, we need to identify the subject. Is the subject here? Is the subject here? Or is the subject here? The person, all right. The subject, my car, is, my, my my car, car is the subject. Good. Car. Okay. All right, good job. All right, uh, what about have? Where is have here? Has. Ah, Has. very good. Where is the noun? The scratch. 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 Very scratch. good. Now, all right. Now, guys, I'm going to blow your mind away right now, okay? All right. So, what if we want to say, uh, what, what if we want to use there is or there are, okay? Uh, you guys are going to give me examples, okay? So, so get ready, all right? Uh, there is, guys. Do we have a there is here? Yes? Okay. Yes, right? We have there is, right? Yes. It's right here. Uh, do we have a noun? Scratch. Scratch. All right. The noun is scratch. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now, uh, let's take a look at this example right here. All right. Let's compare them both. Okay. All right. So, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Okay. Do you remember the first example, right? Subject plus using, you know, using the past participle as an adjective, right? Remember, guys, what does an adjective do? Scratch. No, but what does it do, guys? What is the purpose of an adjective? Describe a noun. All right. This, all right, to describe a noun. Very good. Okay. It describes noun. All right. So now here, guys. All right, um, let's compare this. Notice, guys, that this sentence, okay, this sentence right here can be turned into this sentence, okay? I repeat, guys, this sentence can be turned into this sentence right here, all right? All right, very good, guys. So here, guys, we have the subject, my car, all right? Do we have the subject, my car, here? Let's talk about this, okay? All right. Yes. Do we have, okay, very good. See, there is a subject, right? Yes, my car. Right, so there is a subject. My car is the subject, right? Very good. Now, uh, what about, um, what else, guys? What else? Uh, what is the noun here? What is the noun in the first sentence? Scratch, right? A scratch. All right, very good, scratch. Now, guys, notice that instead of the noun, now we have a past participle. Got it? And this is yeah. the trick, guys, okay? Instead of the noun, this is, you know, the noun, right? All right, this is where the noun was going to be. Instead of using a noun, guys, we're using a past participle verb. All right, mm -hmm. does that make sense now? So in the first example, we're saying, mi carro tiene una, un rayón. All right, in the second example, we're saying, mi carro está rayado. Got it, rayón, rayado? Yeah. All right. All right. Now, does that make more sense now, guys? Is it is it clear at least as tequila now or not not or chata? <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, right. All right. Now, do you have a question here, guys? Very important. Okay, I need to make sure that that you you got this part. If you don't ask me, I'm gonna ask you, I and mean, you're gonna have to to answer it. When we use past participle, we use uh, the verb be, right? When you use the past participle, you're always going to use the verb be. Yes, all right. Very good question. Now, this, this rule, guys, cannot be broken, okay? All right. So this, mm -hmm. all right, this structure cannot be broken. All right. So you're always going to follow that structure. If you have issues, you know, remembering what, what goes after what, then remember you know, this structure right here, all right? Now, second example, guys, here. There is and there are. It's very simple, guys. This one is a little bit easier, right? What is the what is the noun, right? Where is the noun here? Here, it's right? Scratch. Scratch. Very good, Scratch. Okay? And then you have there is or there are, which is here, all right? Simple, 
all right so now the same thing guys instead of so these two things guys you know these uh these two structures they are married okay all right they are the same all right they're both using nouns right i have a noun here and i have a noun i have another noun over here see nouns nouns right however uh if that is the case then we have an adjective here see the past participle right so these guys equals this so see they are all the same right so in the first example guys we're going to use nouns and the second example we're uh we're going to use adjectives okay right and the reason there are there is a scratch on my car means hay un rayón en mi carro got it mi carro tiene un rayón hay un rayón en mi carro mi carro está rayado all right, does it make sense now? Okay, nice guys, nice. Let's see, all right? We're gonna see if that makes sense. I promise you that I would help you with the platform, okay? All right, it's platform guys, not platanoform or platform, all right? Platform, all right? I've heard that before guys, like platanoforma, right? No, it's not platanoforma, all right? Anyways, all right guys, so, um, so I have, um, Let's, let's play a game, guys, okay? So what we're gonna do, guys, is that I have a wheel of, I have a wheel of um, exercises, okay? <laughs> That's how I'm gonna call it because I hadn't thought about the name, all right? But basically what you're gonna do, guys, I'm gonna spin it, all right? This is actually gonna take us to a different link. Uh, am I sharing the whole screen, guys, or just the presentation? Hold on, I don't wanna share the whole screen. All right, very good, guys, right? Can you see now? Yes. All right, very good. Awesome. Okay, so uh, I'm going to spin it, guys, okay? And then one of you has to tell me if this is uh, if this is a noun or a participle being used as an adjective, okay? Got it? So, for example, there is a stain, right? You have to tell me, right? That's a noun, okay? Now, to make it more fun, guys, you're going to have five seconds to answer, all right? If you don't answer in five seconds, you're not going to get any points. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give you points, guys, okay? And if the winner, the winner, you know, whoever wins will get absolutely nothing, guys, all right? I mean, we'll get knowledge, guys, okay? That's your prize, okay? You know, getting more knowledge. <laughs> but, but no, I'm not going to buy you anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so... Um, so let's start, okay? All right, I'm just gonna pick whoever I see first uh, on my screen, guys, okay? All right, so I'll start with, no, you know what, guys? The, uh, no, uh, you actually tell me, okay? If you wanna earn a point, you have to tell me, me and your name, okay? You have to say me and your name. Do not, I repeat, guys, do not give me the answer only. You have to say your name. So for example, if Luis, you have the answer, let's say that you know the answer. Then you're gonna say Luis, all right? Me, Luis, right? And then you're gonna give me the answer in less than five seconds. Yes. Copy. All right, very good, very good. Okay, all right, very good, guys. So, all right, get ready, guys. Get ready, okay? Uh, I'm gonna ask the you guys with the cameras turned off, guys. Daisy, Irina, Alejandro, Juan, Paco, Paco's Galaxy. Are you ready, guys? Yes, all right, very good. I couldn't make my cell phone uh, work with the camera. So I'm sorry. That that's fine. Don't don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. All right, very good, guys. So let's start. It has a lick in it. What is it? Identify. It. Noun or past participle. No. 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 You have to, guys, no. you have to tell me your name, all right? Give me your name. Yes. If, otherwise, it doesn't work like no, that. Janet. It's a noun. All right. Uh, Janet, okay, very good. Good job, Janet. It is a noun. Good job, Janet. Well done, all right? Really? Janet, okay, you want one point, all right? You can go to Pizza Hut later and redeem your points in, a, in an alternate dimension, right? Thank you very much, all right? Very good. Okay. Uh, let's see next one, guys. All right, uh, it has some no, no. damage. No. Me. All right, Daisy, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard Daisy. All right, you have to say me, Daisy. Daisy, let's go. No. 
All right, it is a noun. Very good. It is a noun. Thank you very much. All right, <laughs> Daisy, you got 1.2. Remember, guys, I heard, I know that you, you told me the answer before, guys, but you had to tell me your name. Me, your okay. name, all right? All right, be, get ready, guys. All right, hold on. Oh, I, I stopped. Oh, hold on, guys. Hold on, my mouse is not working well, guys, so I pretty much just closed everything. Great, hold on. Maybe it's need to change the battery, teacher. No, no, no. Um, no, I need to buy a new one. I know what it is. I know what it is. It's just, okay. you know, I have another one, but I, I forgot to plug it in. <laughs> All right, anyway, so uh, let's get back to it. Hold on. All right. Okay, so let me share it back, guys. Okay, so uh, it has a leak in it. Okay, it has a leak in it. Janet, 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 Me, right. Daisy. No. Janet said it first. Okay, Janet, what is it? No. All right, no. that's a noun. Thank you very much. All right, be ready, guys. Okay, you have to be tigers. Next stop, guys. Let's see. Uh huh. It is damaged. Me. What is Me, Miguel. Me, who? You have to say your name, guys. Miguel. Let's go, Miguel. Uh. <laughs> Quickly, Pass five, possible. four, three, past participle. Thank you very much. Okay, Miguel, you got one point. Guys, don't forget your name, right? Why are you forgetting your names? <laughs> All right, very good. All right, so Daisy, uh, Janet, you have two points. Daisy, you got one. Miguel, you got one, right? All right, so it's stained, okay? <laughs> Me, Daisy. Daisy, you're right. I heard Daisy first. Daisy, it's participle. Go. All right, it is a past participle. Good job, all right? Daisy, two points, Daisy. Very good. I, I need everybody else on board, guys, okay? Participate, all right? You have to say your name, all right? Very good. Next one. It is Me, chipped. Irina, Me. 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 Yeah. I heard Irina. Hello, Irina. All right, what is this? It is chipped. Uh, it is a uh, past participle. It is a past participle. Thank you, Irina. All right, good job. Thank you. All right, okay. Irina, all right. Uh, your name, guys, your name, right? Just say your name, guys. All right. Me, me Irina. I heard me, Irina, again. No. <laughs> it's noun, teacher. Okay, it is a noun. Very good, Irina. Come on, guys. Irina has two points now. Very good, okay? All right, now I'm going to give five points to whoever tells me this. But, guys, you have to say your name, right? Just unmute yourself right now and say, you know, your name, right? Because I've seen some of you guys, but you don't say your name. <laughs> Me and Irina. <laughs> Me, no, uh, uh, hold on, right? All right, go. Me and go. Miguel. Miguel, Luis Miguel, right? Let's go, Luis Miguel. <laughs> what is this? It's a noun. It is a noun. Very good. It has scratches. Very good. Good job, Miguel. Miguel, you got one point. Is your name Luis Miguel? Oh, oh. you said me, Miguel. Okay. Right. Me, Miguel. <laughs> All right, that would have been awesome, man. Luis Miguel. All right, very good. All right, guys, we have three more to go. My, okay, right, wait, wait, wait. Go, so, my t-shirt is Mirna. I heard, I heard Mirna, let's go, Mirna. It's, um, it's a past participle. It is a past participle. Good job, Mirna. Mirna, you got five points, right? <laughs> that was worth five, five points, guys. <laughs> All right, uh, 10 points this time, guys, okay? 10 points, all right? Get ready. Uh, that's gonna be blue. It's it's scratched. Scratched. Sonia. Okay, all right, I heard Sonia. I heard Sonia, all right? First. That's participle. 
Participle, participle. That doesn't exist. No. Incorrect, incorrect. I'm not going to give you the points. Participle, okay? Me. Right. Another chance, guys. Who, who wants to answer this? Okay. Who wants to answer this? Me. Jenny. Janet, okay, thank you, Janet. Okay, Janet, what is it? Uh, participle. Participle, okay, very good. All right, Janet, you got 12 points now. Very good. <laughs> All right, 20 points, guys. Okay, the last one is going to be, two, I mean, why am I even spinning this? Okay, the other one, <laughs> it, has, it has a turn, all right? Who wants to answer that Me, one? Me, Irina. Irina, let's go, Irina. It is a noun, teacher. It is a noun. Okay, very good. Okay, it is a noun, guys. Thank you very much. So then the winner, guys, is Irina with 22 points. <laughs> I mean, uh, 22 points. Janet, second place with 12. Everybody else, guys, well, Mirna, five points. Uh, Daisy, two, and Miguel, one. All right. Thank you. Oh, Miguel, two, actually. Thank you very much, guys. All right. Plus for you guys. All right. Super good job. Thank you. All right. All right. Good job, guys. Okay. All right, guys. So now, is it more clear now, guys? Is it clear now? Yeah. Now it looks easy, but uh, the platform, maybe no. Well, if you noticed, I was using the answers from the platform. Did you, didn't you notice that? No. I was using <laughs> the answer from the platform. Okay. So I said, really? guys, yes, I was nice. giving you the answers just now. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good, guys. All right, so let me share the screen back again. All right, are you seeing, what are you seeing now? So anyways, I have no idea what you're seeing, so I'm gonna reshare the screen, okay? All right, guys, so going back to the presentation, all right, I have some practice for you. Um, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you 10 minutes so you can finish this, uh, these exercises in your notebook. And then I'm gonna ask you for the answers. Then I'm gonna help you with the platform. Deal? We also have a listening exercise, guys, but uh, all right. So are we clear on what we are going to do right now? Yes? We are going to, we are going to write the exercise at the notebook. You're going to solve these exercises in your notebook. So what you're going to do is this, okay? You have you have a sentence here. For example, this tablecloth isn't very clean. So you can say, for example, right? Give me the answer, guys, using the verb, the verb stain, all right? First of all, guys, okay, all right, before we even start here, let me ask you something, guys. I want everybody, guys, okay? I need everybody paying attention, guys. I, I need everybody taking a look at the exercises and tell me if there is any word that you do not know, if there is vocabulary that you are not familiar with. Uh, in my case, I don't know what happened with, uh, I don't know if the platform uh, not recognize, recognize yeah. my answer. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, very good. Uh, I'll help you with the, right. guys, no questions about the platform right now, okay? Okay, but. I, want, I will help you today, but I'm asking guys, okay, thank you, Luis. I will help you with the platform. Questions regarding this, guys. Do you understand all the vocabulary here? That's my question. I, I don't know where is leak and scratch. And picture. Picture. In the second. Ceiling. In the second sentence, no, in the second question, I do not what mean picture. Another water pitcher. Yeah. Teacher, we can Only hear second. you again. You don't listen you. Teacher, we can hear you. Again. Okay. Lose a teacher. <laughs> what happened? You don't head? listen. Your headphone, teacher. This is the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> teacher. The ceiling, right? 
right in the chat at the digit at the, at the teacher because he he is not talk he doesn't listen Teacher. I don't understand what is the leak. Uh, I think it's for leaking gotear, in, gotear, in, the, in the ceiling. Goteo, yes. o derrame. Leaking. Es como leaking. derrame, derrame de leaking. agua o derrame de líquido. Leaking and goteando. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Leaking. Guys, I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Yeah, now yes. this Already, teacher. Yes. All right, I'm so sorry, guys. I, okay, I didn't know you. We lost two again. Teacher. All right, hold on. You, you should be able to hear me now. Okay. So, guys, I was explaining, okay? <laughs> I was explaining what a leak was, okay? So, I was telling you that a, that a leak, guys, okay? A leak is when you have, for example, when it's raining and there is, there is you know, your, your roof is broken like here right the, the the roof is broken here now if it's raining and you have a broken roof then water is gonna leak into the house see leaking is the verb of of the water you know uh getting inside your house right so because there is a leak you know water water is leaking into your house did that answer your question Mirna? okay Gracias. Thank you. <laughs> All right, nice. Thank you very much. Okay. Now the other word you were asking for is scratch, right? Let's say that I don't know, guys. You have a car, right? You have a very uh, a very ugly car. It seems, you know, right? Anyways, guys. Okay. My drawing skills are not the best, but this is your this is your car. Okay? <laughs> so you have a car, okay? All right. You have you have a car, and then you have someone very evil with keys you know and he is you know there are the keys here and he's scratching right he's scratching your car guys he's going you know he's going like uh, hold on. <laughs> all right so he's going guys he's going like this right he's scratching your yeah, car i understand teacher. right i understand all right now do you understand guys what the scratch is yeah yeah yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Very good, guys. Okay. Very good. Any other question, guys, regarding vocabulary? Yes. What yes, is number two? Picture. In the A second picture. Part, question. Guys, yeah. guys, you should know that one. You know why? Because we use it in Spanish. <laughs> it's what we call pichel. The word pichel mm -hmm. comes from that. It's a pitcher, a oh. water pitcher. Got it? Do you yeah, know what at the Sobol game you have a pitcher too? Yes. That it's also is a no. It's the same writing. Yeah, yeah, it is the same. Yeah, you spell it in the same way, right? Okay. But two different things, right? A pitcher and a pitcher, someone who calls who catches the ball. But it depends on the context. I mean, if you say water pitcher, is that a person who catches water? No, right? No, that doesn't exist, right? But so, it's, it's the first time that I that I see the, the that word. Yeah, yes, I understand. Water. You don't worry. Leaking. Yes, don't worry. Okay, yes. Uh, but yes, guys. Okay. Uh, depending, I was my my point is depending on the context, you know, the meaning changes, right? Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Arina. Thank you. Good question. Any other question, guys? I'm pretty much giving you the answer from the exercise. Ceiling. What? Ceiling. Ceiling. Ceiling is the, do you know what, what the roof is? The roof of a house? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got it. I got that, it. That ceiling is the inner part. Okay. This right here. Got it? So before I was, I was, I was drawing, you know, I was drawing a, a, um, a, a, a ceiling fan. Do you know the ceiling fans? Shh. Right. So that's that's a that's a ceiling fan. Okay. Very good. Any other question, guys? Yeah. yeah. What uh, cheap 
means in the chep. Chep yeah. is chep is a verb that means um, that something is chipped. <laughs> uh, having a okay, let me, all right. I I have a you know I have a, a chipped tooth, guys. So do, do you know what what teeth potato. are, right? Okay. Potato chip. Like. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. That's that's a noun. Like okay? No, guys, hold on, hold on, hold your horses, okay? Yes, guys, chips are snacks, yes, but that doesn't, that is not a verb, that's a noun, okay? All right, hold on, guys, okay? You're gonna get confused here. Chip, guys, okay? All right, this is what you eat, right? All right, this is a snack, you're right, okay? Churritos, yeah. right? Anyways, whatever, right? But this, guys, this is a noun, okay? If you say chip as a verb, all right, let's use chip as a verb, all right? This means, guys, that something is slightly broken. For example, guys, you have a beautiful smile, right? Yes? And you have teeth. Do we all have teeth, guys? Yes or not? Of course. I, I don't know, right? Very good, okay? But let's say that you, you know, you, you had a, you know, you, you fought, well, you fought, right, or, or you, um, um, you, well, you had a fight with, with uh, someone and somebody, you know, punched your, your, your teeth, and then, you know, your teeth, one of your teeth is kind of broken, right, but not completely, it has a chip in it, or it is chipped, got it? Okay. All right. Mastillado. Exactly. That that's the word in Spanish. I didn't even know what the word in Spanish is, but yeah, that's that's the one. Got it? Thank you. The Google Translate, no Spanish, guys. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. But yes, guys, that that's the meaning of chipped. All right. Any other question, guys? Chip is oh. fragmented. It's like fragmented. Very good. Hey, that's a very nice synonym. Fragmented. Very good. All right. Wow. Chipped is fragmented. Nice. Good, man. I hadn't thought about that, but that you're right. You're absolutely right. Okay. All right, guys. Any other question? No. Are we good now? Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, okay, guys. So do me a favor, guys. Um, I'm gonna let's start working. I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna separate you into couples, and you guys are going to solve these exercises. So what you're gonna do, guys, is that you are either gonna use nouns or you're going to use past participles as adjectives. What are you going to do, guys? Yes. What are you going to do? Nouns or a, as past participle. As adjectives. adjectives, okay, all right. Are we all clear, guys, on what we're going to do right now? Okay. Yes? Yes. All right, very good. In that case, guys, let me send you the image right now, okay, the image. There you go, guys. Okay. All right, I'm gonna um, we're gonna make you put you into breakout stations now, and there you go. Let's go, guys. So I sent everything to the WhatsApp group, guys. Those are the exercises that you're gonna resolve. I can share the screen for put the picture. David. Hello. I can share the screen. Well, um, Sonia, do you have access yes. to the image on your on, on the WhatsApp group? Yeah. Okay, Remember? this tablecloth isn't very clean. It it is a stain. Right? Very good. Continue, guys. You're you're doing great. Okay. Um you, you both have it on the WhatsApp group, guys. So it, it's optional if you want to share the screen or not. Okay. 
So let's not complicate our lives and just do it like that, all right? Okay. All right, very good. Okay. TV. Is is a past participle. Mm -hmm. Using the, the verb in the past participle or adjective past participle. It is it is stained. It's the first. Uh -huh. In the in the second, the leak. Like a <laughs> um, but in the second one, maybe um the water picture. I don't know. Uh, the water, the water picture is leaking. No, that. No, no, no. I think Re that. Remember, is... guys, picture, right? The water, the water picture. The picture. Okay. Yes. picture. Any questions, guys? How do you how do you feel with the topic so far? Uh, Good. I'm a little confused, but. All right, that's what you need to practice, right? Just uh, yeah. complete the exercise. How do you feel, Miguel? Um, uh, almost clear, but yeah. not, not, not confused at all. All right, very good, thank you. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate on asking me, okay? Okay, okay thank you. <clears throat> uh, Hi, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Tell me, Daisy. I don't understand. Um, we are two because um, I know, I suppose that the first, hmm? when this table, this table first isn't very clean. Uh, the answer, maybe, I suppose, it has a stain on it. I don't know. All right, you can say it has a stain on it. That would be an acceptable answer. You could also say it is stained. That would also be an acceptable answer. It is stained. Yes, it is stained. That's both, is answers. Sta um... both answers are correct. You can say either, you know, it has a stain on it, or you can say it is stained. All right. Both are correct. Both are correct. That's the point, right? That you can use both of them. All right. Okay. It is a stain, or the second one is the second choice. The second one, it has a stain. It has a stain. Yes. So. But that, it. Yes. Go it ahead. It has a stain. It's using as a noun, right? Exactly. Exactly. So and, you. And it is stain is used as a as part of the Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Did that did that Thanks. answer your question, Daisy? No, that's okay. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you doing? Do you have any questions? Yeah. All questions. We are really confused, so teacher. That's I told you. It look when you explain it looks very easy, but when you did it, no wait. That's okay. What is your question? What question do you have for me? In the second one, for example, we said, we, could we have another water pitcher? This one? Uh, if, if we put this one is leak, it's not correct. This one... Wait, leak. wait, 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 guys. Hold on. What are you doing? What, what are, I mean, what... Uh, you say that that is, it's not correct. Are you, you're not supposed to be working on the platform. That's not what uh, we're doing right now. Um, we were trying teacher. All right, very good. Sorry. I will help you, I promise. But that's not what we're doing right now, okay? Okay. So what is well, your answer? What is your answer for number two? Guys, follow because, instructions, please, okay? No okay. platform right now. Go ahead. Okay, teacher, but, but the, the first one we wrote, this tablecloth isn't very clean. It has a stain on it. Is correct? Mm. Yes. All right. Uh, to answer your question, guys. Okay. I, I the hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, do not talk to me about the platform right now, okay? No, because... I'm not in the platform. Teacher. Okay, right, very good. I have in my in my notebook. Okay, very good. Hold and, on. And I wrote the answer of the first one uh, together with Luis. Beautiful. But 
it is correct to say it has a stain on it on the number one yes yes but okay. let me let me explain something okay saying there is a stain on it this is why i explained this right if mm -hmm. you say if you use this or this or this they all mean the same all of them are correct so you can say it has a stain on it on it it is it is stained or there is a stain all three of them would be correct got it so we have uh, three correct answers okay and always we have to to use uh, a stain on it on the third on the three answers we can do it no there okay it's either or okay uh -huh. all right so you can say you know it has a stain on it mm -hmm. you can say there is a stain on it or mm -hmm. you can say it is stained the past participle uh, okay all right did that answer your question now yeah this one is correct but because it's easy for us but the second all right, what about the second one? You you give me the answer for the second one. Okay. Oh, uh, we say could could we have another water pitcher? This one is leaking. That is, a good, is all, right. Mm -hmm. all right. So is leaking is good, all right? What else? What is what are the answer? Do you this have? one leak? There is a leak, okay? There is a leak is also correct. What else? Just, That's it. Just, right. uh -huh. Both of them are correct. Good job. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. See, it's easy, right? Very good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, any any other question? Uh, no. We are trying to do the uh, the other ones. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Thank you. Right. The platform Thank might you. have some mistakes. Okay. So do not worry about the platform. Right. Okay, teacher. Uh, the answers are correct. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks to you. All right. Okay. Then, Luis, what about the third one? Yeah, yeah, I got it, uh, the answer. Okay, what is the answer for the third one? Hello, guys. Um, how are you doing? Did you finish? Do you have any questions? Uh, no. No, you're good? We in the last one. Just the last one, okay? All right. No, no, we in. Oh, you, you're we you're finished. doing oh, okay. All right, very good. Yeah. So we're gonna go back to the main station now, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, guys. All right, nice. Guys, you guys were doing a fantastic job, okay? So now, as promised, guys, uh, I'm going to quickly help you with the platform because the platform might have some mistakes, okay? Which you guys are telling me, oh, this is so difficult because it's confusing because the platform this and that. No, guys, okay? The platform sometimes has mistakes, okay? If, the, if I told you that the answer was okay, the answer was okay, all right? So... Very good job. So let's pull out the platform, guys. Remember, um, everything is recorded, guys. So if you if you missed an answer or anything, uh, go ahead and pull out the class from the YouTube channel. Okay. So okay. I'm gonna share the screen right right now. Now, guys, is it, is it more more understandable now? Do you understand it more? Yes, teacher. A little bit. Teacher, more. not teacher, guys. Teacher. Teacher. <laughs> Uh, the inconvenient is the the platform because when when platform when platform when I was a working platform and accept my my answer I I, I yes. thought that yeah I I thought that that, that I, I am not working very well that but yes. the, the platform is is wrong platform platform. <laughs> 
right. Yeah, all right. Very good, guys. Okay, all right, guys. I, I really don't have more time. It's platform. So uh, I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to cut you short. I don't want to interrupt you, but I need to move on because I don't have more time, okay? So, guys, the tablecloth uh, isn't very clean, right? There are three answers here. You can say uh, there is a stain. You can say it has a stain or it is stained, all right? What, what answer do you want me to put here? It is a stain. It's a stain. It is, all right. It is stain, right? It all has stain. It has a stain. Very good. All of them are correct, guys. All of them are correct, okay? All right, very good. It is stained, right? Could we have another water pitcher? There, this one. This one? This one has a leak. I think is it is stained. This, this it's one is leaked. Is leaking. It, you can it's say it's leaking or you can say has a leak, okay? All right, let's use has a leak. Guys, do you have to use I don't know if the answer is accepted if you only put the 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 verb be and or you know if you don't put the, the uh, if you don't type in the, the subject, does it accept it without the subject or should I or should I place the subject? It is stained. It, it has accepted it is, the answer. It, it is stained. Right, very it good. Is. Okay, so it has a leg. Okay, very good. The table looks pretty dirty. The wood, the wood, what? What is the answer here? The wood is too scratchy. It crushes. All right, it is scratched, okay? Like this, guys, it is scratched, okay? Now, there is there is a mistake here. This is incorrect, but we're going to see that, okay? Now, the waiter needs a new T-shirt, a new shirt. The new, uh, the one he's wearing, what is, what can we say here? It's, it's torn. torn. It is torn, very good, all right? Uh, could you bring me another cup of coffee? The cup? Is cup chip. Uh, All right. chip. It is chipped. Chips. Very good. Okay. Or it has a chip. Whatever answer you want, guys. Okay. Um, no, number six, guys. What is the answer for number six? It is damaged. damaged. Or if you use a noun, it has a damage. It, it has, has some damage, right? All right. Very good. Anyways, let's see, guys. Okay. Beautiful. So we only got one right. But let's see why. <laughs> So, uh, okay, so the subject, guys. Uh, you told me that I, I needed to put the subject. We, it is not accepted. This is correct, guys, okay? But I guess it's because uh, the subject is already here, see? Uh, when it says, yes. right, so you that's why it's not accepted. have to do so of them. All right, and, so let's see. And the correct uh, writing, too. Yes, that is correct. And no extra spaces, right? And the ceiling, uh, let's use is damaged, yeah. but that is correct, too, right? So it should be... Yep. All right, let's see. Now, this is correct, guys, okay? Because and, you have to the, use and, the ceiling uh, is damaged with, I think is. No, no, guys, the reason why it's not accepting it is because of the period at the end, which ah, okay. is incorrect, okay? This is a, okay. An, this was an issue from the platform, not you, right? Okay. All right, so uh, yes, the answer should be with a period at the end, but you know, you know the platform, right? So there, yes. there you go, all right? Beautiful, guys, you got it. Applause for the you guys. The platform is very strict. Yeah, but, 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 but that's why I'm here, right? So I can help you. All right. Very good, guys. But you were right, guys. Your answers were correct. Now, guys, is it clear as water? Yes. Yes, it's yes clear I think so. Chocolate. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. Chocolate. Guys, <laughs> for, for, guys for, the, for the people who came late today, first of all, thank you for coming, right? Thank uh, you. Second thing I okay, want to say, guys, I was, I was telling everybody in the morning, guys, uh, people pay, you know, I pay $150 to learn English, right? Uh -huh. uh, the reason why I'm bringing that up, guys, is because, hey, you're not, you know, you're not exactly paying anything, guys, which is okay. Take advantage of that, guys, because it's hard to find, guys, and I'm going to say this in Spanish. Cuesta encontrar, en mi caso, guys, alguien que sea con francés nativo o tenga un nivel de francés super super alto, right? Y que sepa enseñar y que sea bien knowledgeable, que tengamos muchísimo conocimiento, right? So that type of education, ese tipo de educación es bien cara, entonces solo que cada vez, lo que quiero decir es que cada vez que ustedes piensen en no venir, right? Porque se sienten muy cansados o algo así, um, piensen, piensen, right? Like, ¿cuánto pagarías por este tipo de educación, right? 
and then okay. you okay. all right yeah. all right thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you right. very good thank guys you. Right. Thank guys you. thank you very much thank i gotta you. run thank to you. go to guys see you, see you later see you monday good night right. happy guys. weekend bye. you too bye. take care guys happy weekend bye guys hey watch the class online and on youtube all right yes have a nice weekend see you guys